uh, Selena Gomez dyed her hair. She did? Yeah, she's blonde now. Oh, what the fuck? Hold up. That's the thing that gets me. Of all that. Yeah. I know Billie I Eilish did a while ago. Who the fuck cares? About what? Can Billie Eilish even actually sing? I'm legitimately asking. I have no idea. I've never heard her oh, perform. I, I mean, I like Billie Eilish, but of course. I think that's just because it's um <clears throat> really kind of dark depressing like minor key sounding music i'm a big fan of that shit i don't listen to sad music and i think that's another problem with today's generation they're listening to all this sad music if the world was ending you'd come over right how about we go back to the good old days singing about killing smoker song native american shit no the big iron on his hip that's a fantastic song (laughs) yeah it is town of alfred to roam the street Where's I like wish I could have been news. a cowboy. Isn't there like a news tab on? Oh yeah, here it is. There's a news tab on Facebook. Yeah, I just that's where I got my current events. What history says Until about then. Bitcoin's crash this week? Did it even? Yeah, it crash? lost like some billion, a couple billy. I heard. I better check on mine then. <laughs> oh, While you're doing on. that, whoa! Yeah, we went down a lot. I have to tell these people about Vlad so the Impaler. So Vlad the Impaler was the voivode of Wallachia, which was like this Eastern European place that wasn't owned by the Ottoman Empire, but the Ottoman Empire was looking to own it. But Vlad didn't like two things. He didn't like Muslims. <coughs> he didn't like Muslims being alive. So when the Ottoman Empire emperor told him, hey, you need to pay a tribute. He sends over these guys, the Ottoman Empire, Emperor does. Send over these guys with their turbans on because they're that's what they do, you know? And right, they tell Vlad, hey, you need to pay us. And Vlad's like, maybe, but I need you to take those goofy fucking things off. And he's like, these aren't goofy fucking things. It's because of our religion, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, tight. So he nails fucking their turbans to all of their heads. And he sends them back. And so the Ottoman Emperor is like, not cool, Vlad. Not cool. He gets a, a ginormous army. Some sources say 200,000, but chances are that's not true. Just because of, like, logistics at the time. And like he starts marching too many from or too few. To way too many. 200,000 people. Yeah, that's a lot that of people, many. dude. Yeah. That's like at least five Ramstein concerts. I don't What? I'm going to make lose my train of thought. But anyway, <laughs> he marches up to Wallachia, and Vlad's like, hold up. Not today. There's no way he's going to win a pitched battle against however many thousands of Ottomans this guy has. So instead of that, he takes a bunch of Muslims, and he shoves a pointy stick up their asshole, and he impales like 20,000 of these guys for some say 60 miles. And the Ottomans are like, you know what? I don't want to do that. Jesus Christ. So they turned back. Yeah, dude was a fucking baller. Ended up, I do believe, being betrayed by his own people. Classic. I don't think he liked the J-O-O's. That's a, cla- that's a textbook ending right there in history. Right. Getting turned on by your own people. France knows that a thing is. or two about that. What? France knows a thing or two about that. That and surrender. Hey, yo. <laughs> Dude, I I love how French people talk mad shit on Americans when didn't they last like six or eight weeks or something in World War II before they surrendered was to Germany? Even? I thought it was days, but I don't care about World War II. Oh, what's wrong with you ever seen it's World War boring. II in color? No. I'm the, okay, it's not boring like it's just over talked like, about. But I'm a fan of history, but like back in the day history, it's more interesting to me. I think everyone just talks about I think World War Two is mad popular just because sure. it's like the most recent, like really big thing that happened like in our lifetimes. Because it wasn't I mean, our fucking well, in my parents lifetime. were alive. There's a lot of shit going on right now. 
that's going to be talked about a lot 60, 70 years from now. Yeah, depending on how <laughs> which direction it goes. Or it won't be talked about at all. We'll have to see how it goes. Do you see uh, Nancy Pelosi's comments about uh, George Floyd? Yeah, she said, and I quote, I'm glad that monkey got shot by the police. <laughs> I wish more would. And I'm like, damn, Nancy, why would you say some shit like that? An actual quote from <laughs> Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi. She said that right before she was going to go into a salon and get her hair done. While yeah. she continues to make sure that California stays locked down. Have you heard what's going on in Canada? Apparently yeah, it's, it's like real bad up there. Totalitarian dictatorship. Oh, yeah, dude. Um, I guess that, yeah, the Canadian people are at the point now where they're like, yeah, this is fucking government overreach right here, dude. They're like genuinely shocked. They didn't think that their government would do that to them. Because, I mean, in history, I think, what, hasn't the Canadian government been pretty chill? Pretty decent? Uh, I don't know. I because I don't Canada Canadian. hasn't done anything to warrant my notice historically. So, I couldn't tell you. I know they gained their independence in like the 1980s or some shit. According to Rucka Rucka Ali. <laughs> right. <laughs> but, I mean... They're still, like, under the control of, like, the monarchy, technically, but, like, it's whatever. I thought Justin Trudeau was their leader. He's the prime minister, because there's, I think they're, they're, they have the queen on some of their, like, uh, fucking Canadian dollaroos, or whatever they're called. Could you imagine Looney having Tunis? a queen in 2021? I know, right? She fucking, dude, rest in peace, man. She lost her feral ghoul husband. Didn't he, uh, you know. Kill Princess Diana? Well, you know. Was he the one that was uh, fucking kids, or? Oh, uh, I thought that was Prince Charles, or is that who that is? I don't know. I just know no. that there was one of the know. royal family who was involved with Epstein. I mean, that would be We probably sense. talked about this last time, but, like, how many of these people have to get caught, like, doing shit, like, fucked up shit before, like, hey, maybe these people are all into this weird fucked up shit? I don't know, man. You think it would have been, like, five before people were like, what's what's going on here? You know? But I, it's I just, feel like five is a little but, much, too. Like, But it's been, like, dozens. And people yeah. are still like, wow, that's fucked. And then a week later, they're over it. And there's Who's always the somebody new. Who did it's start with? Crazy. Harvey Weinstank? Harvey Weinstank, and then Kevin Space Me, and, and uh, Crystalia, Brian Callen, fucking. <laughs> Brian Callen, I remember. That one too. gay YouTube guy, James Dean, or whatever. Not James, James Charles. Dean. Yeah, James Charles. I don't think James Charles. I don't, I don't remember. I have to ask Ashley if he's still canceled or not. David Dobrik was friends with the guy that was. Just busted nuts and girls without their consent. There's, what's, I can't remember his name. He's a, a blonde guy, singer on YouTube. Austin was, Jones? Austin Jones. The ball hole guy? <laughs> that guy is, holy shit, that guy's a fucking monster, bro. If there's anyone that's for sure getting raped in prison, it's him. <laughs> I watched a, uh, like a YouTube documentary about him. By, uh, by Jobbery? Uh, that one, and also uh, The Right Opinion. I watched those two. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking crazy, dude. Um, I've, I've said it before, and i said it a million times. What the f- Like, well, they were like 13 through 15 years old. I know. <laughs> dude, just, uh, reading, like- reading the messages that he would send them was so uncomfortable to read because he's just like haha show me your butthole that'd be so funny wouldn't it haha lol winky face and then when they're like no he's like oh i thought you thought that i was the most amazing handsome guy ever i guess not sad crying face why does this nigga want to see buttholes i don't know maybe that's just the most uh intimate part of a person's body (laughs) (laughs) but once you get to the butthole you're like there's nothing left that's everything's been explored I mean, I guess, but also that's where poo comes out of, you know? I don't want to look at anyone's butthole. Ever. 
Nobody's? No. Not even Selena Gomez. Missing out there, man. Selena Gomez is pretty fire. A butthole's a butthole, though. You know what I mean? Well, you've seen one, you've seen them all. Kind of thing. Pretty much. Some have more hair, some have less, some have hemorrhoids, some don't. Some are wide, some aren't as wide. It's like, it's a butthole. There's nothing sexual about a butthole for me, anyway. And that's enough, like, all these fucking people that are going out on OnlyFans spending a shit ton of money. There's there's an entire internet of free porn out there. Not that I watch porn, because I'm a man, and I think watching porn is gay, because there's a naked man. But, like... Fair enough. There's an entire internet of free porn, and we're out here making sixes rich. Why? What for? <laughs> Dude, I think it's the uh, social aspect of it like i guess these guys on only fans like they they actually feel like they get to interact with the person so that's but like, worth something to them but i'm like why would you want to exactly that's the best part about ooh, i gotta be careful here. that's the best part about porn is that like you get off and you there's nothing else you don't have to talk because isn't that the point yeah exactly you just these get out of there the OnlyFans simps are just like the one step above the Pokemane simps. <laughs> Cause they're both like wanting the same thing. These these people are the same people who think that waitresses are flirting with them or fall in love with strippers. Like Yeah. Bro, they're doing jobs. They're not here to this isn't like your future wife. Well, I have a couple of friends that whenever I'm with them and we like go out to eat or something, the waitress like always hits on them but otherwise yeah i get what you mean so i know what that feels like so <laughs> get some uh better looking friends i guess <laughs>